Hi everyone, Pete Meyer in Motor Age Magazine here with a fairly unique edition of In the Workshop. I mean, normally we tackle subject matter and content that is related to professional techs and their needs, but today the focus is a little different. I want to offer a little something up for those of you, uh, the men and women who are in charge of training the next generation of technicians. Having spent a little bit of time in those trenches myself, I understand that one of the biggest challenges, of course there are many, but one of the biggest challenges is maintaining enough training aids for your students to practice on. Certainly, you know, keeping cars in one piece after uh, students who are learning what they're doing uh, have been at it a time or two is a challenge. Uh, a lot of you are making your own boards, uh, if you will, uh, to isolate a specific systems so that uh, your students can work on those and not have to be you know, hunched over or under a car. Uh, and one company that specializes in helping you meet those challenges is Console Lab. And today I'm here with Nathan Banks. Nathan is the Director of Business Development for Console Lab. Nathan, so, thank you so much for taking this time out to talk to me. Thanks, Pete. It's a pleasure for me to be here and to tell you all about Console Lab. Console Lab has been around since 1969, and the foundations of the company were in electrical engineering and building training aids for electrical engineering. Now, over the last 20 years, we've been building automotive training aids. That's kind of my specialty as well. I spent quite a bit of time in the trenches, not nearly as much as you, but um, so we'll focus more on our automotive side of things. So at Console Lab, we design and build training products for teaching institutions for school high schools, colleges, and universities. With the automotive side, it's more in colleges and vocational schools. So what we do is we try and take the difficult concepts that are very difficult to understand for the students, take a lot of time, or are hard to see on the car. You know, it's something like air conditioning, which is essentially a whole lot of magic and happening inside of the EVAP box, but we try and lay it out, make it very visual for the students to see, make it easier for the teachers, uh, help them understand. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, again, as an educator, not everybody learns the same way. You know, there are people who can, uh, you know, read a comic book and uh, create the Mona Lisa. You know, others have to be led by the hand and shown, you know, hands-on. They want to get that experience. So, so the console lab uh, equipment, the training aids, they kind of address some of those needs, don't they? Yeah. And, and we always kind of see it as, you know, Sometimes we'll be talking to teachers or we'll be talking to technicians and they'll say, well, yeah, but you got to do it on the car. And we're like, absolutely, you got to do it on the car. The end result, of course, is that we want the students to be able to fix cars. We want them to be out there to go in the trenches and to make those repairs and do them right the first time. But sometimes there's steps in between. You know, there's different ways different students learn. There might be a theory side to begin with, then some hands-on practice before getting to the car. Uh, where something is very delicate or, or very costly for, for the school to keep up on the vehicle, we can provide a product that will make it easier uh, to run that through the program for the instructors. So, I mean, to give you an example, uh, one of the products that we just launched recently is our Ohm's Law and DC Circuits Trainer. Uh, very basic electrical, um, and I'll actually uh, I can show you just a little, we'll do a little video clip right now, show you a little bit of what the trainer can do for you. The CL1919-05 Ohm's Law and DC Circuits Trainer is designed for use in a classroom environment by students. And this is by students that have very little or zero experience with electricity. It's designed to bring them from that base of very little knowledge to understanding how electricity works and the application of Ohm's Law. Now I'd like to show you some of the features of the product. On the trainer we have a built-in variable DC power supply with overload protection pulse width modulation, a built-in multimeter that has no need for batteries since it's powered off the trainer with an external fuse. We have our power and ground, single filament and dual filament light bulbs, light emitting diode, a buzzer, NPN and PNP transistors, a diode, an electric motor, a 5-pin ISO relay, a flasher, a potentiometer, five resistances. Across the bottom we have a 
blade style fuse, dual position switch, and a push button switch. All of the wiring on the trainer is done by the students using jumper leads with standard banana plugs. So if they want to wire up a light bulb, for example, we're going to take ground to the light bulb and then to power. And with this, the light bulb will turn on. Now, if, for example, the students make a mistake and they bypass the light bulb, shorting the circuit, the trainer is protected and we see that the overload protection is trimmed. So there's no way that the student can damage the power supply by making a small mistake. For this product, we've written a comprehensive user's manual that includes basic electricity, Ohm's law, and step-by-step -step wiring instructions for your students. All of this related directly to NATEF tasks. Well, that's pretty awesome, Nathan. You know, I mean, electrics especially is one of those things that makes it very difficult to, for, to get across to students. I mean, once they get it, it's like the light, literally, the lights go on, you know, and, it, and they make it their own. But, it, but that's probably one of the biggest challenges, not just for students, but for working techs today, is, is understanding electrical fundamentals. So that's a great way to, to help bridge that gap. And guys, i got to take a moment here, got to brag on Nathan a little bit, so you get an idea of where this young man's coming from. Uh, he, he kind of alluded to the fact that he spent some time in the trenches. He did. You know, he's up there in Canada. We won't hold that against you. But he's up there in Canada and uh, spent his time there, uh, owns a provincial license. But one of the things I found out about Nathan that was pretty interesting, uh, you instructors down here, very familiar with the Skills USA program. Uh, Nathan, you were involved with the, the Canadian version of that. Let's talk a little bit about that. So that's actually, Conslab were very involved in skills, and that's actually how I ended up meeting Conslab and eventually working for Conslab is all through the skills organizations. So for those of you that aren't familiar with it, be it in Canada or the United States, it's the same kind of idea. You'll have state chapters or provincial chapters and then a national competition uh, for either country. And the idea is, and this isn't just in automotive, this is everything from hairstyling to plumbing uh, to web design and everything in between. And when I was a, a student, uh, learning to become a service technician, become a mechanic, um, I started doing competitions for this, my school, representing my school at the provincials. And then I went on, I, so I went to the provincial competition. Um, and what's really interesting is it, it's, if you've never seen a competition like this before, you really almost want to go out there and check it out. Um, I know, Pete, you said you'd been to the nationals in uh, yes. Kansas City before. Yep. For any of you educators that are out there that haven't seen either a state level or a national competition, you really got to get out there because the energy that you see with the students, with the instructors, it's just amazing. And it's, uh, it really kind of lights a little bit of a fire to get you going to, to just do better. So when I was a student, I won the provincials for my province in Ontario twice, and then I went to the nationals in Canada twice. Uh, I then went on, I won the nationals in Canada twice, and then I went on to the world competition in Japan in 2007 uh, and came in seventh in the world. So since then I started judging the competitions and I was actually volunteering as a judge and that's where I met Consulab and that's where, that's where it started. Now Consulab, we're very, very involved in skills both in Canada and in the United States. We sponsor events, uh, provincial and state level events, and we've attended and judged at both the national competition in Canada and in the United States. So, well, I think I think this is a lot again for you know, yourself and your company. Uh, you know, guys, when you're talking to uh, someone like Nathan, you know that he has the experience, he has the knowledge, he knows of what he speaks. He brings that to the table for you. That's just that much more benefit that uh, he brings to the console lab products. And I guess too, I want to mention too, Nathan, that you know we, while we looked at the the electrical bench, you know, the uh, training tool. Uh, there are other areas that Console Lab offers as well. Can you kind of give us an overview of some of the, the uh, training aids that Console Lab has developed? So if you want to look here, this is a picture of one of our engine benches. This is one of our most popular products. And really, the way that we design our products and our product philosophy is always to take the real components and show them, and show them to the students and put them in a situation where they're easier to access, easier to teach, easier to understand. So Here's another picture from that engine bench of what we use for our air conditioning system. We put clear tubes in the air conditioning system that allow the students to see the refrigerant flowing through the tubes. 
So we have products for all the ANC areas. We have products in systemic suspension. We have products in uh, brakes. We have tons of products in electrical. Uh, and then we have products, very, very advanced stuff, like our electronic programmable fault box that you can see here. Then we have other new products, like this multiplexing trip you can see here. So there's, there's a huge, huge array, and we're able to cover so many parts of the curriculum that it really makes it a lot easier for teachers. Yeah, again, and that saves a lot of wear and tear again on the, the test cars that you know schools are lucky enough to get as they are. You know, so it saves wear and tear of that. It makes it much easier for the students to see and understand, like you said, they can put their hands on it, they can see it. Uh, it's not a, a clouded mythological theory you know, that they're trying to comprehend, but it's right there where they can get their hands on it and take a look at it. Now, last thing, Nathan. Guys uh, who are in the field, women who are in the field of instruction, trying to help that next generation, where can they go? Uh, who can they contact to learn more about what Council Lab has to offer? Well, so for anyone in the field, I mean, we're working, we're all in the same domain. We're working in the same trade here. And I mean, whether you're working on cars or trucks or whether you're south of the border or north of the border, we're all dealing with the same things. We're working on cars now that have so much technology, so much advancement, and so many things to learn that essentially one of the things that drew, drew me into the industry was that you know you're always going to have to learn. You know you're never going to be able to stop learning. And that's what we're always doing at Consul Lab, and that's what we're always trying to help the schools. Now you can find out more about our products at consulab.com. Uh, all of our contact information is there. You can follow us on Twitter. You can find us on LinkedIn. And you can check out our Facebook page. And there's just some of the things that you see both in the industry and in the education side of the changes that are happening, be it changing to the, the electrif electrification of vehicles, going to hybrids, going to electrics, going to different alternative fuels. And then you look at the pedagogy, the teaching side of it, where not only are they changing what they have to teach, but a lot of teachers are changing the way they're teaching. They're flipping the classroom. They're doing things differently. They're using the social media. They're using the technology. And they're using things just like this video that we're doing to promote the industry, to help the students learn. And it's just so great to see all that. Well, Nathan, we should appreciate you taking the time to hang out and sharing some of the Consul Lab story and, and the product offerings that you guys have that can help the instructors uh, help their students. Uh, thank you again so much for taking the time to uh, hang out with us in, uh, in this edition of the workshop. Thanks, Pete.